guys, welcome to Jerry Bear Reacts. Today, we're going to react to Season 2, Episode 6 of Shadowhunters, entitled The Iron Sisters. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe for daily content. If there's a day, there is a reaction. Links will be in the description box down below for the Patreon, the Twitch stream, and everything in between. And Jerry will do his best work behind the scenes in just a few moments. Uh, last episode was... I got heavy at the end. Excuse me, Alec holding this burden of what he feels he's responsible for in Jocelyn's death and Clary trying to bring her mother back by going to a dark warlock, essentially, who's been breeding these kids to help raise their army. Seems like crossbreeds look like there was just some amphibian stuff. Um, or maybe that was just a warlock mark. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it was a fish person and it looked like maybe one thing was a demon, but it could have also just been something else for a warlock for the babies. I'm not, I'm not, maybe I'm looking too far into it. <laughs> She says Clary still owes her a favor, which is giving birth to a warlock. You know, a demon shadow hunter combination would be deadly, as she says. Then again, we have Jace already. Uh, and Isabel, struggling with her wound, wants to meet the Iron Sisters, but um, Abernathy gave her some petroleum jelly to rub on her neck, and it makes her go goo goo gaga. So we're going to see how Clary continues to go off of this. Obviously, the last episode ended with Luke as a werewolf. And Simon revealing his true identity to his mama. So I'm going to put Jerry behind the scenes. And let's get into episode six. the uh, Season two, episode six, the Iron Sisters. They're making me on their... Ah, they're the ones that make the goddamn, goddamn swords. Okay. I like it. Always. Hey, Billy. It is, bro. Lisa Barry. That's our girl, Billy. From uh, Supernatural. Hell yeah. Valentine has taken the soul sword. Nobody is safe. Bum, bum, bum. Reinforce the citadel. Someone or something was trying to send me a message. What's in the background with this half crescent blood moon and shit? Is it, it your from mother? Mom. Mama from yeah, the dead. Miss her. How Giving else you a fucking... to explain it? Come here, homie. Brother and told Can a lot. Back pocket. Something gonna grab me like, oh, what is this? Why are you drawing ancient ruins? Just wanted to see how Clary was doing. But if I'm interrupting something. No. Nope. No. Not at all. Some brother, sister, you know, hanky pain. Day. How is he? Is he sleeping? Everything's gonna be just fine, Mrs. Lewis. Just let her know. Like, she'd be all right, dog. You're holding up okay? I miss her a lot. I oh, know shit. It's and been a day. He's just vanished. Luke will be fine. He's barking at the moon. And so will you. Mm. I see you've healed. I've never stabbed a friend before, so I figure him. You definitely still... stabbed her in the back. Give <laughs> you an apology, or they're badass warriors who create all of our weapons. The Valkyrie. They're just the Valkyrie. He's the reason my mother is dead. And he don't even fucking know it. And he don't even know it. That's the wild part. Ah, there's a... Into the Citadel. But she's not trained. I'll keep an eye on her. You and Clary have grown close. That shit had her shaking, dude. She's jonesing for another fixing. Little goes a long way. Nah, she used the whole glob of that shit. But how well do you really know her? Pretty well. I feel like he has ulterior motives giving She's her this Valentine's shit. Of all that. <laughs> Lately, Luke's been far more concerned with shadow hunters than his own pack. Wow. You did not strike me as a jealous type. Maybe I'm just getting tired of you leaving your stink around here. Oliver, come on. What if Luke's in real trouble? He's a wolf. I'd be far more worried for whoever crosses his path. That's not true. What if he just gets shot? You know? Is he gonna heal from that? He's not a wolverine. Oh, that's old girl again. 
uh, Maya, right? This is the hunt. Get that brother a horse. <laughs> Bitch, if that would have been a fucking horse just now. It's a stag. Look at the deer. Now back at me. If you fail to grant time for the things you care about, you'll forget why you're even fighting at all. Hmm. God damn, son. My man's just a, a book of bars. A bar book. What do you have in mind? Barbacoa. Probably not in the market for a bed, so, uh, never mind. Boy is a nervous a chatter. Message? He does. Nervous. Yeah, you see what I'm that? saying? It's just my natural disposition, I guess. I'm, I'm Simon. Maya. Remember that time he said Maureen was more than a booty call and then never went back to her? ba dum bum ba dum bum the Wolverine claws open enough for you to go inside? Dope. It's pretty sick. For whom the bell tolls, time marches on. They're on your ass like white on rice. Valentine is my father, but that man killed my mother. He experimented on my brother. I want to stop him more than anyone. And All facts, no printer. chance at defeating him. Yeah. We need your help. Come together. Sister Cleophas, how long have you been in the Order? Fourteen beautiful years. I never planned on following in my mother's footsteps. I was happy living in the ages with my sister Amatis when my brother Lucian was scratched in a werewolf attack. <laughs> Lucian! I did what I had to do to restore our family's honor. Do you you're mean Luke? Luke? That's your brother, BB. Are you Luke's sister? I am. We must begin the purity trial. Oh, what's that? So you should know everything about Jocelyn and this, that, and the other, and who Clary actually. You should have a deeper understanding of that girl. Honestly. For the answers you seek. Haven't you heard the saying? If you can't find the one being hustled in the pool hall, then it's probably you. <laughs> Let's play. Let's play. Yeah, a little friendly competition going on because, you know, Magnus been around since fucking who knows when. That boy was around when pool was invented. So he's all about it, about it. That's fucking hilarious. You know that nightmare you have about showing up to school naked? <laughs> you actually did it? Well, after an unexpected transformation, <laughs> I came out of it butt naked and late for calculus. No. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> I, I I hid in an empty classroom until everybody left. And oh, man. Luckily, I found a band uniform to wear. But Yeah, I definitely would have hid in like a closet or something like all day. It's been like, ooh. And if somebody opened it, it's like, what are you doing? I'd have been like, drugs. And in hindsight, it probably would have been less embarrassing to just be naked. My mom walked in on me just sucking the blood out of her rat. That's so vile. It's <laughs> fucking <laughs> gross, man. Just harming it. Yuck. But it could be worse. You could have been sucking on a rat naked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the rat was naked, so. Oh, not this brother out here bonding, bro. A little bit of storytelling back and forth. You know what I'm saying? My man, my man, uh, Simone, he got, he got the moves. He got he got the he got the moves and he likes him a nice slice of chocolate from time to time. So I don't know what's up with him. Cause I mean he wouldn't even tell Clary about what was just going on with the rodent situation, but he just told this complete stranger. Careful, young man. Careful. Don't get in over your head now. That's an old ass jukebox right there. And now they both have martinis. He said, fuck it, IPA shit. Uh, I don't think I've ever ordered like a proper martini. I don't know if I'd like it or not. I think I've never had one with vermouth added to it, so. Not much of a choice. Have you ever been in a relationship? It's okay if you haven't. It's okay if he hasn't. That's not a big deal. Like, hey, have you ever been in a relationship before? 
that's one of those things too. We've talked about this in other shows, but as you get older, like you have a more of an understanding for like when you're in high school, you know, and you're 15, 16, 17, 18, et cetera. I mean, hell, even in college, there's like this weird pressure where it's like, you got to be in a relationship. You got to go after like the most attractive person. You got to find the funniest, blah, blah, blah. I got to have sex, this, that, and the other. And it's not even really, it's not even that deep. Like now that I'm older and having nephews and stuff who are half my age or younger who are in high school or who are just like in middle school and like having an idea of everything that I went through that they're potentially going through. It's like, man, who gives a fuck? Like who, who really like do you, you know, like you could do all that when the time comes, especially like, you know, you always, I remember parents and stuff saying like, you know, you're too young to be in a relationship. And as a kid, you're like, ah, I know better. I mean, I get it. I I get it. Like definitely too young to be in relationships at some ages. It's okay to have your little, your little boyfriend, girlfriend, like middle school, that type stuff where it's like, Hey, we're going out. But everything else is like, you know, I don't know. But in that situation like that of he's never been in a relationship, that's okay. But he's been working his whole life. He never had time to get down. He never had time to go do all these things. Um, It's wholesome, if anything. He's been preoccupied with the rest of his life, and he has had time to spend that with the loved one or something. Uh, Magnus' face there, I don't think it's something Magnus would be like, oh, you know, you've never been touched back away when Magnus has just been fucking ran through. Hopefully it's something where it's just... You know, he finds it like adorable or in a nice way, I guess. And he's like, oh, okay, well, happy to be the first, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, don't rush life. That's a moral of the story. Claire, you can't do And don't judge others for what they have or haven't done. This. You about to get fucking baptized? Yeah. I'm about to dab in. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Yeah, but wait until old Fing Fan Foom gets in the fucking water with this damn drug addiction she got going on. Yeah, how dare you try to say some shit to me, boy? Watch. Go ahead and get in there, and you're gonna be all sizzled up. Uh oh. Izzy, are you okay? I bet old boy probably fucking set her up too. What happened? I have no idea. The water does not lie. But perhaps you do. I don't know what you're talking about. You are tainted with demonic impurities. I'm sorry, Isabel. We can't let you inside the Citadel. This Aww. has to be a mistake. Quickly. The infant will not heal you. Be careful. Can't y'all just... He's a whole bitch, bro. That dude's a whole bitch. Can't they, the Iron Ladies, can't they just help her out, though? Like, hey. Something like that. Well, full disclosure, I'd rather be hunting in the woods of Far Cry 3. Same. Really? Oh, I don't even know what I'm going through. Show your eyeballs. Are you? Like you. Am I? Yes. <laughs> no. No, this isn't happening. Wait, wait, calm down. You have to control yourself. I change. I had a joke, but it's gone. Don't worry about it. Link to our motion. You don't want to hurt anybody else, do you? No, I mean, you must have had plenty of exes. He's gonna drink. What do you mean? <laughs> Thousand. How many? It's not a trick question. Thousands. I like how they got their little beers crossed out there. It seems like a nice bump. Down, if you want. Okay. If you want to. Know. He's gonna say like. He's gonna say like twenty. Thousand. No, I'll tell you. Ten. Hold on. Seventeen. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, here it comes. Seventeen. Hundred. Seventeen thousand. It was all in the past. <laughs> Ancient history. Oh fuck! I mean he. <laughs> He has been alive forever, though, so you really can't blame him. Look at his face. You can't. You cannot blame him. You cannot. Oof. Dream. It's like uh, clerks. It's like 36 dicks trying to suck any dicks in the way out. <laughs> oh, shit. Look, I am who I am. 
you are who you are. Dog, I thought that was fucking Simon and Theodore for a second. Simon and Garfunkel, whatever the fuck her name is. Simon and Maya. Samaya. Maimon. My God. Demon-blooded creatures. Jace. Does that mean Luke? Downworlders. All of them. Yes. Oh, not the dogs. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was about to say I'd be able to hear some motherfucker outside the tent going. Go with the grain, right? Remember when we were kids, Clary and I, you brought us here. We roasted marshmallows. Clary got one stuck in her hair and, and Jocelyn had to cut it out. Yeah. Clary cried like the whole way home because she thought she looked like a boy, but you told her that she was still beautiful and that you would always love her. Yeah. Come on, buddy, snap back out of it. Can't let that happen. Fuck no, you can't. So don't do it. Let me activate my fucking angelic hearing rune. a weird shot for that. Sister Landless, I need to ask you something. When my mother died, I was given a message, an image of a room. What kind of room? I don't know. It's not in the great book. I need you to show me. Can you do that? Yeah. Yoga fire. think that I don't want to be there for Clary, for all of you. But what use am I if I can't control myself? It's going to be all right. Luke, you've got to fight. Yep, got to, bro, bro. And those that care about you will fight with you. Best believe. Back to back, over the shoulder. Shake your head. Wait a second. Look, I don't care how many people you've been with. I don't care how many people you haven't been with. As long as he's used protection, bro, what's the matter? I know he has it, though. Magnus don't seem like... Well, actually, he does seem like the type. I take that back. I take that shit back. I hear that. Relationships, they help you. Take effort. Take a lot of effort. I'm all for effort. What a good, what a good dude. Who the fuck just walked in? Can I fucking help you, dog? Sorry, I, yeah. What a buzzkill. Oh, you ruined their whole mood. They had a whole night out of drinks. They had a whole little shadig. They came back with a little smoochy smooch, and your ass gonna show up with a damn double bag. You got a spare room? No, no. Look at him. Look at, look at Clary walking in, bro. My man been over here caking it up the whole time, and now it's old... F his old flame, the girl that he's been fantasizing about since he was fucking in middle school with a clay allergy, just walks in. But meanwhile, he done got caught up in the sauce. And oh, buddy, I can't believe he's sitting over there with another girl. After I've known his, I've known his feelings for me all these years, and I finally found out my lover's my brother, and now I'm just upset. Just, I'm just sad. I thought finally we had a chance to be something. We were supposed to get married, and look at him over there talking to that damn wolf. Hey, That's the one you need right there, bro. You don't need her. You don't need Clary, bro. You better stick with Maya, Simon. Oh, Simon. Clary doesn't have demon blood. You sure? There was a purity trial. She. Girl, that is goddamn vampire vitamin. You told you everything I know. There you go. Reject the poison. Reject the drug. <sighs> Sister Cleophas, wait. Return to the Citadel. You never saw me. Do you understand? I cannot do that. I thought this was all behind you. <laughs> that damn angel basically with the purse. Cleophas, please stay.
What was that for? Oh no, she been fucking. Oh, she circle branded. No. This is terrible. She also had ringworm. This is awful. Good heavens, man. Good heavens, my friend. That's some shit right there, man. The Iron Sisters, Clary, Clary and Isabel, are sent on a mission to meet the Iron Sisters in order to find more clues about Valentine's plan. And oh boy, did they. Um, there's not a whole lot to say right there, honestly. But she played us all for a fool. Oh, girls, like, please don't leave. I'll miss you. Stab John Snowder. Or, yeah, to Daenerys. Anyways, so a little stab, stab, wound, wound. She falls over. It, ringworm. She knows about Clary and the fucking oh, the hand blossom. So now she can take that information. Izzy's not talking about the hand flower, the, the hand rune. Uh, but she also doesn't confront him about the venom thing, or the, the venom, the vampire venom. For some reason. It's also very weird. Uh, Jace ruining Magnus and Alex big moment. There's a lot of layers there. The Iron Sisters are kind of cool. I wish they were a little bit cooler. Like, I wish they would have showed some more stuff. But I guess there wasn't enough time for it. Because all these other stories intertwine. I like the basic premise of the Iron Sisters. I think they're badass. And with their, their origin story and everything. Uh, but why would you give the information about what the Soul Sword can do... If you're just one of them, unless your whole plan was to turn the whole time, you were waiting for Clary. I'm not quite sure. Maybe that's why she lost the battle. She let her mind wander. Is that what it was? Maybe that's what she was thinking about. Hmm. 17,000 crazy, bro. Crazy. But good on, good on Alec for being like, I don't care how many you've been with. He could probably just magician away some warts or something. But, uh, no, that was fun. So, what we lead to now, no Valentine this episode. He still has, he has the fucking Mortal Cup. He has the Soul Sword. Waiting to see how those things develop. We need to figure out what this rune is and where it's coming from. How the Alec and the guy he was in love with is living with him. With him and Magnus' new boyfriend, who he's got a little thing thing for. And then you got Simon over there calming down Luke. Simon's caking up with this new girl, but Clary walks in. Decisions, decisions. I like uh, Simon and, and Maya together. I think they mesh well. They have good chemistry. They're they're gamers. They're they can, they can, they can hang out. A vampire and a werewolf. Are you kidding me? Solid. It's good stuff. All around a great episode. Uh, I don't really have any predictions or anything on where it's going to go from here, but I do think eventually Old Boy is going to be outed as something because he's kind of single handedly trying to poison. He's trying to do something to Izzy, and he's trying to turn the clave against Jason them. So I think he's also being a mas master manipulator and trying to pull the strings from behind and everything. But uh, Luke dealing with his grief is an interesting layer I wish we would see more about. And we'll see if, uh, yeah, what his sister has to say about all this. This is good shit, man. They got some good layers going. Like I said, it's super cheesy, super corny, but I enjoy. Season 2, Episode 6 is entitled Iron Sisters. Season 2, Episode 7 is entitled How Are Thou Fallen? And I'll see you there. Links and everything will be in the description box down below. Playlist will be up on screen. Stay cute, stay hydrated, and I will catch you on the next one.